Welcome back guys, this is Mr. Right Way and I'm glad that you clicked on today's thumbnail because yes, I did sell my collection for a Lexus. That's right, we're gonna get into it next. So if this is your first time here, thank you so much. Look around, stay for a while, pull up a chair, watch some videos, and if you like what you see, do me the honor and hit that subscribe button. Now let's get into today's story. That's why you clicked on this. And yes, a couple weeks ago, I was talking about, I had to sell my physical game collection. As you can see in the back, is significantly smaller than it was from the last time. I sold over 2,000 games. Uh, my collection was worth around about the physical collection, around about 50 to 55,000. That's just probably the physical collection and stuff. I didn't pay nearly that because you know on this channel, we don't pay full price for anything. With that being said on that, I was like, man, my car broke down. That's right, just blew up, the engine blew out. Never ever get a Hyundai. And man, it just, I was without a car. And then after I filmed that video, I started using my wife's car, right? Then the wife's car just went out and just went out and i was like man it's a week before southeast game has changed i'm like man we don't have no cars what do we need to do and uh, i prayed about it god said sell your collection long story short sold it then i said i had to get some cars this is the story of the cars we got so i started searching for cars the first car i wanted to get was a honda accord right it was nice i want a honda Accord sport blue or red or black and I was seeing a lot of what I was wanting to find, but now here it's a like a shortage of cars in the United States just because of COVID and these chips that they need for the cars. And it's a real thing. And the cars that are on the lots, they are jacking the car prices up like three to $5,000, sometimes $8,000. And I'm like, that is crazy. My goal was to pay cash for a car. Now I wouldn't need to pay cash for two cars. My options were very limited. So the power of prayer, I prayed again and said, God, I need to find a car for me and my wife, for the family, two great cars. And God did it again, y'all. We found a Lexus. Oh, the Lexus was so, so beautiful. I mean, just check this out. Look at this. I was able to go pay cash for a Scion XD for the family. Now, mainly my wife going to be mainly driving this, but we weren't even looking for these cars. These cars are so amazing. I love the car. Just, just check out the Scion XD. It's so nice. Check it out. <laughs>
you know, I was, whew, I'm so happy about this. This is so amazing. These cars are a blessing. Both cars paid off cash. And we got them both. I got the Lexus from CarMax and then the Scion. We got it from like the Japanese auto sale here in Dallas. So shout out to you guys. It was great. The only thing we had to do with the Scion is change it, get for brand new tires. And just, it's, it's great. So, man. All right, so guys, yo, know, we start out with no car, having no cars, and we end up getting blessed for two cars right here, right? Yep. And both cars are in the family, you know. She can drive this car, I can drive that car. You know, we got both kind of cars. Because why I picked the Scion, or why we picked the Scion, because basically it's a great, nice Toyota. It's a beautiful Toyota. I mean, you got a, I think it said a Camry engine in it. That's what No, it's Corolla. Corolla. I'm sorry. I always want to say Camry. Corolla engine, but it, mm -hmm. it is good on gas. We only thing we had to do was uh, change the tires and then... Uh, well, it get, still need to be some minor uh, repairs. Some uh, minor little repairs. Probably about like a $500 repair, but that's nothing. I mean, it's nothing major. Nothing major on both cars. We got both reliable cars, especially when I start rebuilding the game room. I'm going to be going to Ikea and definitely going to be using the Scion to haul stuff back and forth. So that's really good because the seats fold back. I love that about that. That's a great car and it is so customizable i mean it's so great and then the lexus is just a great family car we took it out of town you'll be seeing it on some videos coming up soon it's a smooth smooth ride i mean just the family loves this car it's a great great car and we pay cash for both cars it's just amazing you just we just beyond blessed right now you know <laughs> both our cars i mean it was broke busted and disgusted and now we just have cars, no notes. Man, it just it feels really, really good. So, guys, we just want to tell you, like, you know, just I don't want to say games are an investment, but if you have large collections, you need to sell something for something. Do it. You know, we sold I sold my whole collection or my physical collection for these two cars for the family, and now look what's happening. Well, the, about, the thing is, like, you shouldn't feel sad about it. Like, yes, you'll have an emotional attachment, but at the end of the day, it's a hobby. Mm -hmm. And, like, family and, and needs in the family should always be a priority over collecting, over your hobbies. Because if your hobbies are going to take place of your family and other priorities, mm -hmm. then that's something you need to, uh, like... And that's something you're gonna have to like deal with and find help because then it's it's crossing the line. Yeah, it is. It is crossing the line of, of addiction at it that is, point. It is. You don't you don't want to have no addiction, guys. It just yeah, it's silly. You know, I'd rather have no notes and stuff. I want my family to be taken care of, but actually, I wanted her to take care of first. That's why we went and got a car that she liked first, and then I got a car I like. We weren't even looking for both of these cars. I originally wanted uh, two Honda Accords. That's what we wanted. And, or she kind of wanted um, a Nissan Altima. No, well, I was a, a, uh, Sentra. Sentra. You wanted a Sentra a, or Altima? Nissan, one or two. No, that was a Nissan Sentra. That Sentra, was mainly yeah. what I was kind of looking for. And we ended up renting a Sentra uh, when we went to. Uh, Which was really nice. I know, it was really nice. It was just so small for me. Like my wife was saying, you know the collection it will grow back you know i'm actually getting more stuff for the collection and a sneak peek i've been getting good games already good games like today i found that i found this and you know how rare this game is i would say game wise on wii u this is the rarest game right now it just look it up on ebay a uh, crazy then my local game store that these games that i already had and i missed and i kind of i didn't hate that i sold them but the Trails of Cold Steel 1 and 2, and they will look $12. $12 each for each of these two, for each of these two games. Man. So the collection is going to get built back up, and I'm starting a new series. I already got episodes recorded. It's called Rebuilding the Collection the Right Way. It's going to be a whole new series. I already got three episodes, so it's coming. It's coming next week. You're going to see it. See it. And from now on, then we're going to build this collection back up and see how big we can get it from this from within a year. I'm just so excited we're going to build this whole collection up and we're going to see what we're going to get. Now, this time when I build my collection back up, I'm being, like I said, like I said earlier, I'm being very careful what I put in my collection physical wise. You know, I want more things like kiosks and neon sides and just weird stuff like statues and different stuff like that. Because games are, I'm going to say easy to get, but... 
games are a lot easier to get sometimes. Just you gotta know where to find stuff. And yeah, game prices are crazy, but they really didn't stop me because I like to shop cheap and I want to show you guys how to shop cheap and look out for special deals like the Tales of Written 2. If you see this game, it's about the $150 to $200 game. That's what they're asking for. I saw one sold for like $175. It's going to be a rare Wii U game, guys. Say that three times. Say that three times fast. Rare Wii U game. Guys, thank y'all for the support, and I hope my story can help and inspire you guys. There's no way of bragging or nothing like that, you know, just... I hope this inspires you because, you know, you don't have to. So if you need to sell your collection, do so. Or if you're collecting like anything, you're getting a buy and life happens. It's a way out. Games are not like an investment, but I can't say that anymore. Really, no. It's, it, 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 it was a struggle and it was stressful, but now I'm feeling so much better, guys. So anyway, let me stop talking. Y'all just check these out and just I will see you next time. So take this.